tell me, I mean, you've got the job, so it's not like an interview <laughs> here, but t tell, tell me what you think you bring to this. Why, why you? So I've worked at the BMJ for a long time now. I started in 2009 as the editorial registrar, much like you did um, years ago, and um, several other people who've, who've gone on to stay working at the BMJ. And it's given me a great grounding in editorial sort of uh, processes. Um, I've worked on lots of different sections. and. The last section that I worked on was as head of scholarly comment. Um, I'd been lucky enough to be on a rotation uh, that's been around all of those sections. And I felt that it was the right time for me to move on and to take on this challenge. And I find it very exciting, the thought of being able to grow something from you know, an idea into something that could actually have quite a lot of clinical impact. Um, I'm very passionate about sort of working with patients and making sure that the content is as relevant as it can be to have the most impact. And I hope that some of the learning that I've, I've um, managed to, to experience at the BMJ I can bring to BMJ Medicine. I, I have no doubt of it. And the thing that I think, uh, well, one of the many things you did while being on the BMJ was to develop further and promote the whole patient partnership agenda. So w w what, what of that will you bring across to BMJ Medicine? I think I've learned an awful lot from the patient editors that I've worked with uh, in terms of the, the need to have patients in the room in terms of content creation and editorial processes uh, because although patient involvement in research is growing um, it's still not widely adopted and um, the patient reviews that, that we have at the BMJ have really helped us to identify uh, the relevance of these questions and, and what perhaps needs to be done next to, to further um, improvements. I think that working with patients is, is really helpful. Uh, it identifies the most relevant clinical questions, which uh, I hope the patient advisors that we're recruiting on BMJ Medicine will continue to do for us.